Pedestrian Zone, Wikipedia Article Audio Pedestrian zones are areas of a city or town reserved for pedestrian-only use and in which most or all automobile traffic may be prohibited. Converting a street or an area to pedestrian-only use is called pedestrianization. Pedestrianization usually aims to provide better accessibility and mobility for pedestrians, to enhance the volume of shopping and other business activity in the area and slash or to improve the attractiveness of the local environment in terms of aesthetics, air pollution, noise, and accidents involving pedestrians. However, Pedestrianization can sometimes lead to reductions in business activity, property devaluation, and displacement of economic activity to other areas. In some cases traffic in surrounding areas may increase, due to displacement rather than substitution of car traffic. Nonetheless, pedestrianization schemes are often associated with significant drops in local air and noise pollution accidents and frequently with increased retail turnover and increased property values locally a car free development generally implies a large scale pedestrianized area that relies on modes of transport other than the car while pedestrian zones may vary in size from a single square to entire districts but with highly variable degrees of dependence on cars for their broader transport links. Pedestrian zones have a great variety of approaches to human-powered vehicles such as bicycles, inline skates, skateboards and kick scooters. Some have a total ban on anything with wheels, others ban certain categories, others segregate the human-powered wheels from foot traffic and others still have no rules at all. Many Middle Eastern kasbahs have no wheeled traffic, but use donkey-driven or hand-driven carts for freight transport. History Definitions and Types The idea of separating pedestrians from wheeled traffic is an old one, dating back at least to the Renaissance. However, the earliest modern implementation of the idea in cities seems to date from about 1800, when the first covered shopping arcade was opened in Paris. Separated shopping arcades were constructed throughout Europe in the 19th century, precursors of modern shopping malls. A number of architects and city planners, including Joseph Paxton, Ebenezer Howard, and Clarence Stein, in the 19th and early 20th centuries proposed plans to separate pedestrians from traffic in various new developments. The first pedestrianization of an existing street seems to have taken place around 1929 in Essen, Germany. This was in a very narrow shopping street that could not accommodate both vehicular and pedestrian traffic. Two other German cities followed this model in the early 1930s, but the idea was not seen outside Germany. Following the devastation of the Second World War a number of European cities implemented plans to pedestrianize city streets, although usually on a largely ad hoc basis, through the early 1950s, with little landscaping or planning. By 1955 21 German cities had closed at least one street to traffic, although only four were true pedestrian streets, designed for the purpose. At this time pedestrianization was not seen as a traffic restraint policy, but rather as a complement to customers who would arrive by car in a city center. Pedestrianization was also common in the United States during the 1950s and 60s as downtown businesses attempted to compete with new suburban shopping malls. However, most of these initiatives were not successful in the long term, and about 90% have been changed back to motorized areas. A car-free zone is different from a typical pedestrian zone in that it implies a development largely predicated on modes of transport other than the car. A pedestrian zone may be much more limited in scope, 
for example a single square or street being for pedestrians, but largely serviced by cars. A number of towns and cities in Europe have never allowed motor vehicles. Archetypal examples are Other examples are Car-free towns, cities, and regions To assist with transport from the car parks in at the edge of car-free cities, there are often bus stations, bicycle sharing stations, and the like. The term car-free development implies a physical change, either new building or changes to an existing built area. Examples Melia ETAL define car-free developments as residential or mixed-use developments which This definition is based mainly on experience in Northwest Europe, where the movement for car-free development began. Within this definition, three types are identified. The more common form of car-free development involves some sort of physical barrier which prevents motor vehicles from penetrating into a car-free interior. Melia ETAL describe this as the limited access type. In some cases, such as Stellwerk 60 in Cologne, there is a removable barrier, controlled by a residence organization. In others such as Waterwijk, vehicular access is only available from the exterior. Car-free development Whereas the first two models apply to newly built car-free developments, most pedestrianist city, town, and district centers have been retrofitted. Pedestrianist centers may be considered car-free developments where they include a significant number of residents, mostly without cars, due to new residential development within them or because they already included dwellings when they were pedestrianized. The largest example in Europe is Groningen, with a city centre population of 16,500. Limited Access Type Several studies have been carried out on European car-free developments. The most comprehensive was conducted in 2000 by Jan Schurer. Other more recent studies have been made of specific car-free areas such as Vienna's Floridsdorf car-free development. Pedestrianist centers Characteristics of car-free developments The main benefits found for car-free developments Characteristics and benefits of car-free developments The main problems related to parking management where parking is not controlled in the surrounding area, this often results in complaints from neighbors about overspill parking. There were calls for traffic to be reinstated in Trafalgar Square, London, after pedestrianization caused noise nuisance for visitors to the National Gallery. The director of the gallery is reported to have blamed pedestrianization for the trashing of a civic space. Local shopkeepers may be critical of the effect of pedestrianization on their businesses. Reduced through traffic can lead to fewer customers using local businesses, depending on the environment and the area's dependence on the through traffic. Done properly, pedestrianization can increase local business sales. The first purpose-built pedestrian street in Europe is the Lillienbahn in Rotterdam opened in 1953. The first pedestrianist shopping centre in the United Kingdom was in Stevenage in 1959. A large number of European towns and cities have made part of their centres car-free since the early 1960s. These are often accompanied by car parks on the edge of the pedestrianist zone, and, in the larger cases, park and ride schemes. Central Copenhagen is one of the largest and oldest, it was converted from car traffic into a pedestrian zone in 1962 as an experiment, and is centered on Sturgit, 
which is not a single street but a series of interconnected avenues which create a very large pedestrian zone, although it is crossed in places by streets with vehicular traffic. Most of these zones allow delivery trucks to service the businesses there during the early morning, and street cleaning vehicles will usually go through these streets after most shops have closed for the night. Problems Caused by Pedestrianization In North America, where a more commonly used term is pedestrian mall, such areas are still in their infancy. Few cities have pedestrian zones, but some have pedestrianized single streets. Some cities have transit malls. Many pedestrian streets are surfaced with cobblestones, or pavement bricks, thus discouraging any kind of wheeled traffic, including wheelchairs. They are rarely completely free of motor vehicles. Often, all of the cross streets are open to motorized traffic, which thus intrudes on the pedestrian flow at every street corner. In a few pedestrian streets with no cross street cars or trucks, deliveries are made by trucks by night. Europe Some Canadian examples are the Sparks Street Mall area of Ottawa, the Distillery District in Toronto, Scarth Street Mall in Regina, Stephen Avenue Mall in Calgary and part of Prince Arthur Street and the Gay Village in Montreal. Algonquin and Wards Islands, parts of the Toronto Islands Group, are also car-free zones for all 700 residents. Since summer 2004, Toronto has also been experimenting with pedestrian Sundays in its busy Kensington market. Granville Mall in Halifax, Nova Scotia was a rundown section of buildings on Granville Street built in the 1840s that was restored in the late 1970s. The area was then closed off to vehicles. Venice, which occupies many islands in a lagoon, divided by and accessed from canals. The city has been car-free for more than three decades. Motor traffic stops at the car park at the head of the viaduct from the mainland, and water transport or walking takes over from there. However, motor vehicles are allowed on the nearby Lido, Zermatt in the Swiss Alps, which most visitors reach by a cog railway. In the United States, these zones are commonly called pedestrian malls or pedestrian streets. Pedestrian zones are rare in the United States, although some cities have created single pedestrian streets. Mackinac Island, between the upper and lower peninsulas of Michigan, banned horseless carriages in 1896, making it auto-free. The original ban still stands, except for emergency vehicles. Travel on the island is largely by foot, bicycle, or horse-drawn carriage. An 8-mile road, M185 rings the island, and numerous roads cover the interior. M185 is the only highway in the United States without motorized vehicles. In 1959, Kalamazoo was the first American city to implement a pedestrian mall in its downtown core. This became a popular method for downtowns to compete with the growing suburban shopping malls of the time. In the 1960s and 70s over 200 towns in the United States adopted this approach. The idea of exclusive pedestrian zones lost popularity through the 1980s and into the 1990s. Cinqtere in Italy, Ghent in Belgium one of the largest car-free areas in Europe, the old town of Rhodes, where many, if not most, of the streets are too steep and slash or narrow for car traffic, Mount Athos, an autonomous monastic state under the sovereignty of Greece, does not permit automobiles on its territory. Trucks and work-related vehicles only are in use there. The medieval city of Medina in Malta does not allow automobiles past the city walls. 
It is known as the Silent City because of the absence of motor traffic in the city. Sark, an island in the English Channel, is a car free zone where only bicycles, carriages, and tractors are used as transportation. Downtown Crossing in Boston is a shopping district which prohibits automobiles during daytime hours. Both the main thoroughfare of Golden Gate Park in San Francisco, and Memorial Drive, a busy road in Cambridge, Ma are closed to car traffic each Sunday during the summer to allow pedestrians, bikers, skateboarders, and roller slash inline skaters an opportunity to use the road. North America Canada United States Mexico A number of streets and malls in New York City are now pedestrian only, including Six and a Half Avenue, Fulton Street, parts of Broadway, and a block of 25th Street. Normally provide a traffic-free immediate environment, and Offer no parking or limited parking separated from the residence, and, are designed to enable residents to live without owning a car. Fire Island in Suffolk County, New York is pedestrian is east of the Fire Island Lighthouse and west of Smith Point County Park. Supai, Arizona, located within the Havasupai Indian Reservation is entirely car-free the only community in the United States where mail is still carried out by mule. Supai is located 8 miles from the nearest road, and is accessible only by foot, horse-slash-mule, or helicopter. State Street in Madison, Wisconsin is the largest pedestrian mall in Wisconsin and connects the University of Wisconsin to Capitol Square in downtown Madison. The street houses some of Madison's oldest buildings and stores, as well as theaters such as the Orpheum and the Overture Center for the Arts. Vauban Model, Limited Access Model, Pedestrianist Centers with Residential Population A portion of 3rd Street in Santa Monica, California was converted into a pedestrian mall in the 1960s to become what is now the 3rd Street Promenade a very popular shopping district located just a few blocks from the beach and Santa Monica Pier. Lincoln Road in Miami Beach, which had previously been a shopping street with traffic, was converted into a pedestrian-only street in 1960. The designer was Morris Lapidus. Lincoln Road Mall is now one of the main attractions in Miami Beach. Playa del Carmen has a pedestrian mall the 5 Avenue that stretches 4 km and receives 4 million visitors annually with hundreds of shops and restaurants. South America Argentina's big cities, Córdoba, Mendoza and Rosario have lively pedestrianist street centers combined with town squares and parks which are crowded with people walking at every hour of the day and night. Most of Argentina's cities are human-scale and pedestrian-friendly, although vehicle traffic may be hectic in some areas. In Buenos Aires, some stretches of Calle Florida have been pedestrianized since 1913, which makes it one of the oldest car-free thoroughfares in the world today. Pedestrian is Florida, La Valle, and other streets contribute to a vibrant shopping and restaurant scene where street performers and tango dancers abound. Streets are crossed with vehicular traffic at chamfered corners. Paqueta Island in Rio de Janeiro is auto free. The only cars allowed on the island are police and ambulance vehicles. In Rio de Janeiro, the roads beside the beaches are auto-free on Sundays and holidays. Argentina Brazil Chile Downtown Rio de Janeiro, Divider Street, over almost its entire length, has been continually a pedestrian space since the mid-19th century when not even carts or carriages were allowed. And the Sara District 
also downtown, consists of some dozen or more blocks of colonial streets, off limits to cars, and crowded with daytime shoppers. Likewise, many of the city's hillside favelas are effectively pedestrian zones as the streets are too narrow and slash or steep for automobiles. Ixo Rodoviario, in Brasilia, which is 13 kilometers long and 30 meters wide and is an arterial road connecting the center of that city from both southward and northward wings of Brasilia's Plano Pilato, perpendicular to the well-known Ixo Monumental, is auto-free on Sundays and holidays. Rua 15 de Novembro in Curitiba is one of the first major pedestrian streets in Brazil. Chile has many large pedestrian streets. An example is Paseo Ahumada in Santiago and Calle Valparaiso in Vina del March. During his 1998-2001 term, the former Bogotá mayor, U.S. born Enrique Pinalasa, created several pedestrian streets, plazas, and bike paths integrated with a new bus rapid transit system. Colombia The historic center of Cartagena closes some streets to cars during certain hours. Santa Marta also has permanent pedestrian zones in the historic center around the Cathedral Basilica of Santa Marta. Girondela Union in Lima is a traditional pedestrian street located in the historic center of Lima, part of the capital of Peru. In the city of Arequipa, Mercaders is also a considerably large pedestrian street. Also, recently three of the four streets surrounding the city's main square or Plaza de Armas were also made pedestrian. Vehicles have been banned in the town of Matharan, in Maharashtra, India since the time it was discovered in 1854. Nanjing Road in Shanghai is perhaps the most well-known pedestrian zone in mainland China. Wang Fujing is a famous tourist and retail-oriented pedestrian zone in Beijing. Chengzilu in Chengdu is the most well-known in western China. Dongmen is the busiest business zone in Shenzhen. Zhongyang Street is a historical large pedestrian street in Harbin. In Hong Kong, since 2000, the government has been implementing full-time or part-time pedestrian streets in a number of areas, including Causeway Bay, Central, Wan Chai, Mong Kok, and Tsim Sha Sui. The most popular pedestrian street is Sai Yung Choi Street. It was converted into a pedestrian street in 2003. From December 2008 to May 2009, there were three acid attacks during which corrosive liquids were placed in plastic bottles and thrown from the roof of apartments down onto the street. In India, a citizens' initiative in Goa State, has made 18 June Road Panjim's main shopping boulevard a non-motorized zone. The road is converted into a no-mozo for half a day on one Sunday every month. In Pun, Maharashtra, similar efforts have been made to convert MG Road into an open-air mall. The project in question aimed to create a so-called walking plaza. Pedestrian zones in Japan are called Hakusha Tengoku. Kli Road, in Sendai, Japan, is a covered pedestrian mall, as is Hondri in Hiroshima. Several major streets in Tokyo are closed to vehicles during weekends. One particular temporary Hakusha Tengoku in Akihabara was cancelled after the Akihabara massacre in which a man rammed a truck into the pedestrian traffic and subsequently stabbed more than 12 people. Peru Asia In Sedong in Seoul, South Korea has a large pedestrian zone during certain hours. Also in South Korea, in 2013, in the Hengandong neighborhood of Suwon, 
streets were closed to cars as a month-long car-free experiment while the city hosted the Eco Mobility World Festival. Instead of cars, residents used non-motorized vehicles provided by the festival organizers. The experiment was not unopposed, however, on balance it was considered a success. Following the festival, the city embarked on discussions about adopting the practice on a permanent basis. Total Bans Ximending in Taipei, Taiwan is a neighborhood and shopping district in the Wanhua district of Taipei, Taiwan. It was the first pedestrian zone in Taiwan. The district is very popular in Taiwan. PRC Hong Kong India Japan Korea Taiwan Thailand Vietnam Africa Australia New Zealand In Thailand, some small streets in Bangkok are designed to be all-time closed traffic, the city's famous shopping streets of Sampung Lane in Chinatown and Wang Lang Market nearby to Siraj Hospital, are the most popular for both local and tourists' shopping streets. Additionally the city has built long skywalk systems. Walking Street, Pattaya is also closed to traffic. Night markets are routinely closed to auto traffic. Hue in Vietnam has made three roads to pedestrians only on weekend nights. Also, Hanoi has opened an old quarter walking street on weekend nights. North Africa contains some of the largest auto-free areas in the world. FES Al Bali, a medina of FES, Morocco, with its population of 156,000, may be the world's largest contiguous completely car-free area, and the Medinas of Cairo, Tunis, Casablanca, Meknes, Sawira, and Tangier are quite extensive. In Australia, as in the US, these zones are commonly called pedestrian malls and in most cases comprise only one street. Most pedestrian streets were created in the late 1970s and 1980s, the first being City Walk, Germa Place in Canberra in 1971. Of 58 pedestrian streets created in Australia Indiana the last quarter of the 20th century, 48 remain today, 10 having reintroduced car access between 1990 and 2004. All capital cities in Australia have at least one pedestrian street of which most central are, Pitt Street Mall and Martin Place in Sydney, Bourke Street Mall in Melbourne, Queen Street Mall and Brunswick Street Mall in Brisbane, Rundle Mall in Adelaide, Hay Street and Murray Street Malls in Perth, Elizabeth Street Mall in Hobart, City Walk in Canberra, and Smith Street in Darwin. Many other mid-sized and regional Australian cities also feature pedestrian malls, examples include Langtree Avenue Mildura, Cavill Avenue Gold Coast, Bridge Street Ballarat, Nicholas Street Ipswich, Hargreaves Street Bendigo, Maud Street Shepparton and Little Mallop Street Geelong. M. Perschel studies by Jan Gill indicate an increase of pedestrian traffic as result of public domain improvements in the centres of Melbourne with 39% increase between 1994 to 2004 and Perth with 13% increase between 1993 to 2009. Most intensive pedestrian traffic flows on a summer weekday have been recorded in Bourke Street Mall Melbourne with 81,000 pedestrians, Rundle Mall Adelaide with 61,360 pedestrians, Pitt Street Mall Sydney with 58,140 and Murray Street Mall Perth with 48,350 pedestrians. Rottnest Island off Perth is car-free only allowing vehicles for essential services. 
Bicycles are the main form of transport on the island, they can be hired or brought over on the ferry. In Melbourne's northeastern suburbs, there have been many proposals to make the Doncaster Hill development area a pedestrian zone. If the proposals are passed, the zone could be one of the largest in the world, by area. In New Zealand, it is becoming more common to use public transportation against cars, such as in Queenstown, a prominent pedestrianist area including multiple lanes and streets inside the main blocks. Queenstown Lakes District Council and affiliated groups including Destination Queenstown and Downtown Queenstown propose adding another stretch into a car-free zone. This is continuing with large grass settings along the full pedestrianist promenade. Auckland is also coming to pedestrianist malls and streets, keeping its natural beauty for future generations to enjoy. Very low levels of car use, resulting in much less traffic on surrounding roads, high rates of walking and cycling, more independent movement and active play for children less land taken by parking and roads, so more available for green or social space. Low atmospheric emissions, low road accident rates, better built environment conditions, encouragement of active modes. <laughs>